You know, after five years of reviewing motorcycles, I've had the chance to ride and review quite a few of them, from personal bikes that I've bought to others that I've spent a little bit of time with doing the initial reviews. But there's always been one that stuck out to me, and to be quite honest with you, it makes zero sense why I would buy this motorcycle again, because my bike does everything this one does a thousand times better, but there is a reason that I repurchased this motorcycle, and that's what I'm gonna talk about today after, of course, I show it to you. Now, I wanna hear from y'all after the video. Is there any bike that you've ever repurchased that really didn't make a lot of sense to you, but you just wanted to have it? Let me know what you think down below. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I actually got rid of this bike technically the day I started this channel, or the day after I started this channel. And so I thought it would be cool to kind of see who are veterans of the channel. And so, no cheating, of course. I want you to take some guesses as to what you think this bike is. Now, instead of going in blindly, I'll give you a couple of hints here. It is black, it's got flat paint, and it has remained unchanged for a really, really long time, and it's a cruiser. So hopefully you got your guesses in. Here it is. Now, no matter what brand of motorcycle you like, or if you're a new returning or veteran rider, I think one thing we can all agree on is that motorcycles are awesome, but motorcycles you can win are even better. And that's why I'm giving y'all a chance to win the 2020 Harley Davidson Iron 883. The first model Harley that I ever purchased for myself. And let me tell you, as far as a customizable motorcycle, one that looks good, sounds good, and is just a freaking awesome little ripper that you can customize to your heart's desire, this is the best motorcycle out there for it. Now, what makes our giveaways different is that we work with a small veteran-owned business. We keep the time frame small, which in return keeps the pool of entry small, giving you a chance to win something really awesome. So from October 25th to December 13th at midnight Pacific Standard Time, the giveaway ends. So you only have a small time period to get entered to win, and to get entered is very simple as well. There's one link in the description of this video. That's gonna take you to Hegshot Nation. That is the one and only motorcycle and gun community that are combined. If you wanna to talk to other community members, send me messages, start your own threads, ask questions, do video requests, get early access, ad-free and exclusive videos, this is the place to be. Click the link in the description. That's the only link there. And again, sign up, 49 bucks. That gets you entry into the giveaway and of course the Headshot Nation. But again, you only got a small time period, October 25th to December 13th. After that, it's cut off. So click the link, sign up, and trust me, I cannot wait to give away another motorcycle. Good luck to every single one of you. The 2020 Iron 883. Now, when I bought this bike, back in 2017, it was actually October of 2017, I made a decision that after 10 years of no motorcycle riding that I wanted to buy a cruiser and I knew it wanted to be a Harley, right? I didn't necessarily know why, I just wanted American made, Harley Davidson, and I wanted it to be a cruiser. Now, my budget back then, of course, was kind of small. So I needed to keep those, you know, those payments kind of kind of tight and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And so I'm like, to me, and what I see in the Harley Davidson lineup, there's really only one motorcycle that makes any sense. You had the Street Series, 500 and the 750, which I never liked the aesthetic appeal of those anyways. I ended up riding one some years later and just did not like it at all. Then you had the 1200s. And this was before the Iron 1200. I think it came out maybe just a couple months after I bought my bike, actually. So I was like, the 883, that's perfect. It's right there in the middle, and I think, uh, I think this is like the perfect motorcycle for me to buy. And I ended up putting, I don't know, a couple thousand miles on the bike. I really didn't ride it a lot uh, because I, did, I found myself where I didn't like riding it in certain situations. I'll talk about that as well. But overall, when I look at my 2017 to this 2020, it's pretty much unchanged. And that's one of the great things about these bikes. They are really a blank canvas that you can do whatever you want to with them. They have an Evo engine that is freaking bulletproof. They've been around since, I don't know, 1957. So they are, were around for a very long time. You come in at like 50 horsepower. 
It's not a lot, okay? Um, but one thing you have is simplicity with the motorcycle. And in its simplicity, it looks freaking amazing in my opinion. All blacked out. They have little accents and highlights with some of the bolts and stuff like that. But overall, the black denim against the gloss black in certain areas, it just... It looks freaking awesome, man. So, and I got a lot of compliments on this bike when I had it. Not as many as the Street Glide Special, the bike after it, but still, I got a lot of compliments on how much people really like this bike. And you can really do anything with it. Now, I didn't do a lot with mine. I had a passenger seat, I added the sissy bar, passenger pegs. That's pretty much it. But regardless, it is a blank canvas that you can do anything with. But there's another reason that I bought this bike, and that is. First of all, I want to see if I'm now comfortable on this bike. And what I mean is whenever I'd get this bike over like 55 or 60, I felt like it did not hold a very good line on the road. And I don't know if it was just a combination of my lack of experience uh, plus the motorcycle or was it just the motorcycle? Now, I did get it up to highway speeds. And one thing I noticed is I had no trouble keeping this thing on the road. I've gained a little bit of weight since I sold mine. So maybe I'm helping to keep it more firmly planted. But at the end of the day, I did not notice it not wanting to hold a line any longer. But one thing that remains, it's a rattly bike, right? It is an old school Harley with some new school features, which in my opinion, make it pretty cool. But make no mistake about it, this is not a cross-country type motorcycle. Now, I know there's some creators out there that would definitely prove me wrong on that. But in general, I think for most people, this thing, it is what it is. It is an around town motorcycle. That's it. Way less power than what you'll find on an Indian Scout, but a lot more customizable. So yes, the base is less powerful, but you can work this thing up to anything you want it to be, really. But then there's the other aspect. I never finished my time with the Iron 883. I got rid of that bike way too soon. And so what I mean is that I should have mastered that motorcycle before I went on to a street or a road glide or whatever. Didn't. I thought, oh man, I've been riding this now for a year and a half or so. And you know, hey, I've done great. No accidents, nothing like that. I think I'm good to go. But this time I truly want to master this motorcycle. So we're going to get some protection on the bike, of course, because one of y'all is going to be winning this motorcycle and I definitely don't want you getting a scratched up bike. So we're going to get some protection on the bike, but I want to treat this as if it is my, my first motorcycle. Start doing some figure eights, some U-turns, and some of the things that I never really got the chance to do on this bike because I was so anxious to just get out of it and get into something bigger. It's one of those mistakes that I've talked about that I think a lot of people do. And the reason I talk about it is because I've done it, right? So I kind of want to finish my time out with this bike. Now, one thing I can assure you is that whenever whoever wins this motorcycle is going to get a low mileage, freaking incredible motorcycle and one that actually means a lot to me as well. So I cannot wait to give it away. And of course, one of y'all is going to have the chance to do it. But until then, while it's still in my possession, we're going to be doing some videos with it. And uh, it's kind of actually cool. I just thought about this. It'll be given away just in time for Christmas. So Santa is coming early for one of you guys this year. And that's, uh, that's pretty exciting as well. So again, if you want to enter, click the link in the description. 49 bucks gets you to Heckshot Nation and get you an entry to win this motorcycle. October 25th. To December 13th. That's it. And then it's cut off. So click the link in the description, sign up and come over to Hegshot Nation. It is the one and only gun and motorcycle community on the entire internet. And it's fantastic. Big thanks to you guys. And again, let me know if there's any motorcycle that you repurchased that you really had no reason to buy, but you just wanted to maybe finish your time with it. Or maybe there's another reason that you repurchased a former motorcycle like that. Big thanks. See you in the next one. And as always, holding down.